Okay, welcome to uh, the continuation of your Trajexis tutorial. Um, at this point, you should have covered home, documents, time exception, and daily log sheet. In this tutorial, we are going to be covering uh, comp evals, reports, and send email. Um, so this is the starting page that you're going to be arriving on once you log in. Uh, that's something that you should have already seen by now. So we're just going to be moving on. So this is the home page and uh, we're just going to go to this sidebar here and we're going to start with our very first tab, which is going to be comp evals. All right. So um, this is the page that's going to pop up when you click on uh, comp evals, this, this tab here. Um, so this is basically the form that you're going to be using throughout the program, and this is where you're going to be putting in your competencies. So congratulations, you got your first comp or your 50th comp or your very last comp. So you're going to be best friends with this page, <laughs> basically this whole website. But this one is probably going to give you the best feeling because you're going to be like, yes. <laughs> anyway, so um, continuing on, uh, site, student type, major study, and procedure. This is what you're going to see here um, when you click on this tab. And uh, let's go over each category. So site is where your clinical site is going to be. And um, this little drop down right here, you tap on that and it'll bring up all of the available clinical sites. So Trajexis, when you start going to your clinical sites, it's automatically just going to format kind of where you're clocking in and out of. So your current site should populate here, but if not, you can just click on the down tab and you can choose your clinical site uh, from this drop down. So, you know, here's all the available clinical sites and we're going to choose test site just because we're testing. <laughs> so next category is student test. So this is where your name is going to be, your last name and your first. Um, like I said, Trajexis should populate this just because this is going to be your login and um, your clinical site, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But just in case, if not, go ahead and click this tab and you can find your name and click on your name. But we are a test student today. Uh, so next is type. So when you click on this drop down, you're going to see here um, three categories. And um, this is really critical because, um, which I will show you, um, all of the competencies show up under each of these categories. So it doesn't matter if it's an elective or a mandatory, it's still going to show up under elective or mandatory. So it's really like pertinent that you select elective for an elective comp, mandatory for a mandatory comp, etc. So um, for each of these categories, clinical comp is a recompetency. So this is when you're moving to your next um, hospital and what you're going to be doing is kind of establishing that within the first week or two that you have learned the new hospital's um, machinery and um, et cetera. And uh, that you you kind, you kind of got like a, a good you know grasp on your new machinery because you're going to be going from one hospital to the next and so you've really like adapted and, and worked with this one set of machinery for like two semesters and then you're going to be suddenly changing your environment and it's going to be a completely new thing so clinical uh comps uh, recompetencies are it's usually a chest and two extremities so even though you've already gotten your chest uh, which is going to be your very first thing and two extremities possibly um they want you to do it again to kind of establish like, Hey, I learned this new hospital's machinery. I know what I'm doing. And uh, here's my recompetencies to kind of show that. So, you know, you do clinical comp and then you're going to be doing, um, Oh, so then, then it'll click here. So, uh, yeah, so clinical comp, and then you go to major study. So it's going to bring up the study. So, um, general patient care, um, we, we never inputted this stuff, um, but it's something that your uh, clinical coordinator is going to be doing, um, inputting when you do stuff in lab uh, during class. Mock procedures is um, your uh, simulations um, in lab. Uh, so that's something that you would do before you could actually comp uh, in the clinical site. Um, once again, we didn't really put 
um, stuff in our own with that tab as well. This is more of your clinical coordinator, teacher, and then this is where you are going to be uh, working with. So um, we only have three rotations, so we only had to do two and three. Four, uh, some people did have to do four rotations for different hospitals, so it just kind of pertains. You won't have to do this for your first hospital, obviously, because uh, you'll be doing a regular competency, which I'll get to eventually. Um, but this is for when you go to your second hospital, so you click here, um, this is clinical rotation two, so it's just your second hospital and procedure, and you can see here it brings up recompetency, so you will have to do a chest and two extremities, um, a chest, I just did a normal chest, um, I believe you can do a pediatric chest as well, um, I'm not 100% sure, might as well just keep it safe and just do a regular chest. Anyways, you do a million of those. <laughs> um, extremity competencies, it can be any um, upper extremity and the second extremity is for any lower extremity. So it doesn't matter which, a hand, wrist, you know, or foot, knee, you know, just anything in those categories, an upper and a lower and a chest. Um, so you can know, chest, recomp, and then you do next. And um, I'll do that in another tutorial. Uh, in the next section, so I'm just kind of covering this page right now. Um, but now we're going to be moving to elective comp. So in elective comp, there's two different types of uh, competencies, and you can see them on the ART website. They have um, this sheet uh, that has all of the competencies available that you can get, and you only need 52, and there's more than that. Um, there's You have to get all the mandatory, but there's more electives than needed. Um, so it kind of gives you space to pick and choose. Um, so an elective comp uh, is anything like a skull or, um, let's see, uh, I think like pediatric, um, well, I think I'm pretty sure that's mandatory, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, so let's just do, in the elective comp uh, chest and thorax, you have here a sternum. Um, so sternums are kind of rare, I've only seen about three or four. Um, but yeah, so this is something that you would find. It has a little E next to it, and so just make sure that um, when you're doing elective comp that the procedure that you're putting in uh, has the E next to it, or um, the most updated version would be on the ART website. Uh, so just make those, make sure that those two, um, you know, show up. And so like I was saying earlier, mandatory and elective show up under the same category. So you see here that mandatory is here. So be careful when you're doing that, you know, that you don't put um, a mandatory under elective comp just to make everything go smoothly. Um, and so now we're going to be doing a mandatory comp. And a mandatory are things that you do have to get. Um, there's so many, I can't quite think of the right number right now. I think it's uh, around 20 or so. Um, but anyways, they'll show up here, and once again, they have the little M, which established that they're mandatory. So we're going to just routine because that's the, you know, very first um, comp that you're going to get. So, yeah, so this page is essentially just setting up um, to go to the next tab, you know, to to show, uh, you know, what, what kind of form you want to bring up. Because um, depending... On what you choose here it will change kind of like the layout I'm pretty sure um, it does that let's just check real quick so mandatory comp I'll bring you to this page let's go back and elective comp I'm pretty sure these two are the same um, because oh hmm. oh yeah, see, I made the mistake of doing that. So when you choose elective comp and chest routine, it brings you to this and, like, it doesn't populate. So um, don't do that. <laughs> it won't work in the right uh, first place. Uh, so let's do uh, clinical comp, just to kind of show the, the difference. I'm pretty sure this is the same just because, um, you know, you're – Recomping, yeah. So it's the same as mandatory. So really the only time it's different is when you're doing like an elective and uh, trying to proceed with a mandatory comp. So as let's see if it does it for um, elective. Um, so mandatory comp, upper extremity, uh, pretty much all of upper extremity. That's a bad query. Uh, let's see. Um, mobile studies. 
those are all mandatory. Like I was saying, there's locate lower extremity. I know for sure that there's, yeah, calcaneus. Okay, so we're trying to do a mandatory comp with a calcaneus elective. See, brings up different um, form. So don't do that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so um, mandatory comp, and we're going to go to chest. And um, then we're going to for sure click on chest routine, mandatory, mandatory, and just double check before you continue on that you have the correct site. This will be more of a problem sort of when you've gone to more than one hospital. Just make sure um, this is going to have your name. It's going to populate. If it shouldn't, then you just, you know, click your name. Um, same for here. should have your site, but just in case if it doesn't have your current site, pick it from there and major, uh, I mean type. Um, make sure that you have a mandatory for a mandatory, an elective for an elective, and a clinical recomp um, for recompetency. A major study. Uh, this should have been covered a little bit more in detail in daily log sheet about the different areas. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you have the correct study area and then the correct procedure, and this would be chest routine. And then we're going to click next. And I will be doing a separate thing for this. So catch you then.